So we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. He talked a lot about the past, and I gathered that he wanted to recover something, some idea of himself, perhaps, that had gone into loving Daisy. His life had been confused and disordered since then, but if he could once return to a certain starting place and go over it all slowly, he could find out what that thing was. Rev doesn't love you. She never loved you. What? She loves me. She knows it. You know it. I know it. Oh gosh, George, please let me out. No, you're staying here and tomorrow we're leaving West. Are you kidding me? Daisy, she loved me when she married me and she loves me now. Even alone, I can't say I never loved Tom. It wouldn't be true. Of course it wouldn't be true. What does it matter to you? Of course it matters. I'm the one that's going to be taking care of you from now on. No, I will. Daisy's leaving you. For me. I may not have seen it, but those eyes, those eyes sure of hell have. Americans, while occasionally willing to be serfs, have always been obstinate about being peasantry. The golden girl, her voice, so full of money, that was the inexhaustible charm which rode and fell in it. High in the white palace, the king's daughter, the golden girl. So we beat on, boats against the current, borne back ceaselessly into the past. I don't want to look at that. You're not. You're looking at me. Oh. You know how awkward that is when you're just like, hi. 